blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth, he has spoken with me this past night, morning hours today. And in this conversation, the Lord took me to a place. And then at that place, he spoke aloud. God the Father spoke aloud by voice. And he said, the fountain of living water, by voice, very, very loud, shouted by voice, spoke very loud, the fountain of living water. And then it's as though an ocean opened up, a lake, an ocean, a sea opened up in heaven, and water poured from heaven on me, on the earth, down Drench. It was tremendous. He said, the fountain of living water, by voice, and then he opened heaven, the floodgates of heaven, and the massive anointing of the Lord came, of the Holy Spirit, came as water, and came twice. The first one, there's one that went ahead, so I can, even I see it now, it's a little ahead, the other one is coming, and it's like an ocean poured, poured a sea, a lake poured on me, Whoa! When he shouted and he said, the fountain of living water. So that means there's a tremendous healing anointing. There's a massive anointing of visitation that the Lord is bestowing upon his two tremendous and mighty holy ancient prophets. The prophets that you see at Central Park, when they were ministering, one of them you can see the hand. See the hand of the other one in the air. While this one is quite ahead and this one is you can see complete, but the other one you see is hand. The hand, the Lord allows the hand to be seen very clearly and concealing the glorious eternal body that was resurrected in heaven. The mega prophets of the Bible, the ancient prophets of Israel, there is a major, major, major anointing that heaven has released on this day over them on this mission here, in the mission to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And the Lord is asking that the church be at the forefront of repentance and turning away from sin. That the church lead the way. And then lead all the nations into repentance, receiving Christ Jesus and returning to holiness and returning to righteousness and rejecting all form of evil and wickedness that when the Messiah comes, he may find a holy bride, a mature bride, a righteous church, a radiant church. All this anointing is being released for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And all this conversation is geared towards sensitizing your heart, allowing all the nations to know that, yes, indeed, the forerunners of the Messiah are here, and yes, indeed, the Messiah, Christ Jesus of Nazareth, the King, Amalek, he is coming. He is coming to a holy church, a glorious church, a righteous church, mature church, a church that has sustained the faith. When the Son of Man comes, will he find any faith left here at all? The church that has maintained the faith, upheld the faith, sustained the faith, the faithful church. Again, by voice, this past night, God the Father announced, and he said, the fountain of living water. And then from heaven, he opened heaven a tremendous ocean of water, the Holy Spirit. That is the Holy Spirit poured upon the two prophets. It was massive. Down on the earth. That means there's going to be mega, mega, never seen before visitation of the Lord as the two prophets of the Lord minister across the face of the earth. There's going to be an unbelievable unthinkable visitation never thought about in the history of the Bible. There's a big visitation coming to the church. There's a mega visitation coming to the earth because the Messiah is coming. Those who have ears, please, receive Jesus and turn away from sin. The Messiah is coming. May the Lord bless you to die have a Baruch Hashem, Todah 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 Hashem, Todah